Hello guys, Igor here doing one more episode more review. Today analyzing Beacon, a tool that I also use it daily to convert leads and to create my ebooks and I have it, you know, for years. And it's a pleasure to see it again on Appzumo. It's an established tool. They work pretty well. And the deal is pretty good. It's an alternative to designer. And you're going to use Beacon that is an uh, all-in-on tool that helps you create professional lead magnets, opt-in forms, and resource libraries to boost lead generation. So you're going to create ebooks or in beacons or using your preferred design tool and any lead kind of lead magnets that you would like, for instance, a checklist. And then you're going to upload uh, to beacon or create in beacon and use the beacon system to get leads. So you're going to get emails <coughs> from it. And the deal is pretty simple to understand. Now they have what they call the resource library, that it was long time ago a paid add-on, and it's less expensive on Epsomo right now. And this deal, uh, you should try to buy at least three codes. Three codes. That one here is the best deal for Beacon. If you get one code, you think you have a limit of domains, uh, one users in one domain. If you get two codes, better more uh, the team accounts and more domains. However. If you get the three codes, you're going to get the resource library that I'm going to show you that it's a website that you create to host your uh, lead magnet. And it's pretty useful. I use it and I have one. So I'm going to show you how the tool works. I'm going to go to my Beacon account. As you can see here on the dashboard, you have uh, key metrics. You can see I generated almost 400 leads using it and I have a uh, conversion rate of 4C8. And then you have a, a tab to see your lead magnets. You can see my lead magnets here. The lead capture forms, the resource libraries on the lead uh, capture forms, you can see how many leads you did get. Okay. And also the resource library that I'm going to show you. Let's start here on settings. Then you can see the features that Beacon has. Here is where you can add your teammates. You add them by inviting them by email and they can use the account to create the lead generation in the forms. Also, uh, here is where you can add your custom domains. You can see that I have many custom domains here. Just click on the plus button and you're going to, uh, you can also add a favicon to your custom domain and you add it using the C name. The tool has uh, email integrations so you can automatically send your leads to your email providers so send fox send grids can use the player or publi move send integratedly drip active campaign etc they have many integration with email tools you can also use your sender signature just you only need to confirm your email after you add it here so when you send the email it will show up your email and also your name and how the tool works you can the first thing you're gonna do is to create a lead magnet click here create a new lead magnet and you're gonna see uh, several different templates you can start blank or you can start with an actual template, an ebook template, a resource guide, workbook, uh, checklist, etc. I like uh, a lot to create checklists. And before you create your resource, you can import the content from your blog content. You only need to add the URL of your blog content and Beacon will automatically import your content to their system and then you can create the resource. I'm going to show you one of my lead generations tool. So here is my resource and you can see the page here, cover, introduction. It's pretty easy to edit. You just need to click here and just write it. Okay. You can also change uh, the height and also the image on a click of a button. Just click on the space on the field and it, the tool is going to show what you can do here on the left. For instance, you can change the background image clicking here. To add features to an existing design or a new one, you just drag and drop 
the image, divider, uh, spacer, table of content. You can add videos on your resource, etc. And you go clicking here and on a template, you keep editing, for instance, here, uh, my checklist. This is a checklist where I explain the 30 best just Jasper AI commands. Okay. At the end, you can add call to actions. Okay. So it's pretty easy to create the resource. After you create your resource, it can be a checklist, it can be a guidebook, it can be an ebook. Okay. So then you are going to go here to publish and you can see that you have different kinds of publish settings. The smart PDF, the one that I use most where you can share a link and then people will need to add the email to have access to the resource, the download PDF, horizontal bar, content upgrade, link lock, pop-up delay. So you can add as a pop-up, you can add as an inline form on a website, you can uh, require people to, you know, uh, add their email to see the content. It can show up as a bar on your website. There are many ways to to publish your, your ebook. And after you do that, you need to create, after you create your ebook, so create the design, you simply create a new form to collect the leads. For instance, here is the form uh, that is a link lock, as I said, that I, I, I use oh, uh, always the smart PDF or the link lock. The many here, oh, and then here are the link lock. I have a one in line form as well. And in the link lock, people will need to, I said smart PDF, but actually it's the link lock the one that you need to add the email to see the resource. And on the link lock, that's one of the form that you have to share your content. You're going to have a link. And when you click on the link, people will see this here, the picture of your resource, and they are asking their email. And then you're going to get the lead. Here you can see the link. It's pretty simple. After you start the link lock. So I'm going to go to the link. And when you go to the link, you're going to see that message here unlock the resource. So one will need to add their name and email to see my PDF. So it's pretty, pretty, pretty simple to use. And as I said, for the sake of that review, I'm showing you the link lock, but you can also use an horizontal bar on your website or no, on your website and other, other strategies as a lead capture forms. And this is the resource library that you need to stack. You need to stack three codes to have access to it and how it works. So I'm going to show you, you have a website with the resource li a library where you can add your resource as you are seeing here. So you add the resource, click on that button. So you can upload a file, add an URL or browse to see the resource you have inside Beacon. And just click on it, it will be automatically added here. You have a search feature. You can translate uh, the library and customizing it to your language. And you can also add your logo, change the background. So all the features on the library, you can customize it. The font as well. And then you receive a link that is the link of your library. Here is my library. So when one clicks in one of my resource of that brand, like that, it will show up a spot where one can add their name and email to receive that resource. And it's cool that it also has a feature that one only needs to add their email one time. So if my someone one of my subscribers add the add the, the link here they will be able to download all the pdfs adding the link only one time that's the resource library is one of their best features so that's why i totally recommend you to get three codes at least and it, a big home is really a solid tool sorry for lead generation so try to get it and i hope you like that review please support me click on the link in the description to help me to keep going thank you so much